a desire for a shortcut. That's really what it implies. That's why they call it the noonday demon. You know, by, by the time noon hits when you're living in a monastery and you prayed for the fourth or fifth time of the day, you look outside and the sun has basically stopped moving. You look at the clock and it stopped ticking and you feel overcome. Athletes experience Akedia. When they've gone through drills again and again and again, they feel like they're not making any improvement and they grow bored with them and restless or musicians or scholars. So that... Creatives, that, right? Yeah, that, that's right. Um, th that particular deadly vice or thought applies to those who want to figure out how to take a shortcut to excellence. Or to flee. In fact, Cassian talks about the desire to flee the place. He says, "Oh, he says, if, uh, uh, put, putting words into the in, into an imaginary monk. If only I could find a better abbot. If only I could find a better monastery. If only I could find a better coach, a better teacher, a better set of circumstances that would simply make the Christian life easier for me and more convenient. And I could get I could get to excellence." Uh, somehow more quickly. That's really what he's referring to. And I mean, though, and that that syndrome, the if only syndrome, is just like rampant. In it is our society. It's a, it's a habit of our society. Sadness, on the other hand, uh, would best be translated um, at at the at the lighter side of things, self pity, and at the harder side of things, despair. Mm -hmm. Uh, where where you uh, face circumstances, experience in life that are simply so hard, and you fall into a deep kind of sadness. It's not depression. I, I hesitate to use modern words and apply them easily to ancient wisdom. That that takes some nuancing that I'm hesitant to do. So self pity, I think, is about right. Self pity to despair. Yeah. So what way? And envy so is the active side of that, by the way, uh, Evan, because envy is really a way of saying, I hate the people who are succeeding and have not, or somehow succeeding and have not faced the difficulties I faced in life. So I want to see them fail. Yeah. And that's the, uh, the, the deadly sin that Gregory the Great eventually decided on.